Okay, today we're going to go over a uh, relative cranking compression test on the snap-on scope. This is probably my least favorite test to do with a snap-on scope because you can't scale on the y-axis, so I can't zoom in this way. You know, you can zoom in left and right, and you can zoom out, but you can't zoom in this way like you can with the Pico scope and several other scopes. So I'm going to go over a few tips on how to get a good capture and, uh, you know, pretty much the best I can do with it. I could probably spend more time dicking around and get something figured out, but this is a good enough test if this is all you have. So this will at least give you what you want to know. And what you want to know when you're doing a relative compression test is do I have no compression on one cylinder or very low compression on one cylinder. A lot of times doing a relative compression test, you will uh, find out that valve train issues won't always show up on a relative compression test. So this is just a directional test. It's not to confirm anything. It's just what are we going to do next? Do we have a dead hole or not? So uh, this test on this does that. And that's all we need to do. So first thing is the settings. I like to set it up at 200 milliseconds and then 50 kV on with a secondary ignition probe. It looks like that. And uh, then I'm just hooked up to battery positive and the ground. And then I have the 12 volt channel inverted. And uh, the filters on, peak detect, and inverted on the secondary ignition pickup for my sink. And then once I do my recording, usually you'll end up when you pause it with something like this. Um, not extremely useful. So, but. If we come down here, we zoom out to max, we can see the waveform we made. I'm just going to pick a random spot in the middle and then start zooming in. I don't like to zoom all the way in. You know, if I try to zoom all the way in to see one revolution, you can see how flat the humps get. It's harder to see, so I just, I like to back it out. Even if I can see a few different revolutions, that's fine with me. And then I'll just move that cursor up or down until I have it lined up like that with a grid line. And then look for the humps. You know, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six. So I know I've got six even humps, six cylinder engine. So I know within a reasonable you know amount of accuracy I'm making compression on each cylinder now whether that's enough or not you know is up you know is you might not have enough compression but you can see here when these peaks rise steeply chances are you're making good compression but again you could have a valve train issue where it's still building compression but just not breathing properly so it's just a directional test and this is the best way I've found to do it on a snap-on scope. This is a Varus Pro, but it's the same procedure whether you're using a Zeus or a Modus or any other scope. So, I uh, hope this helps. Good luck.